Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we are going to be making a blue adventuring bracelet. So let me close the window. There's a lot of additional noise coming from that window. It's kind of bothering me. Just give me a second here. And I forgot the roller, so yeah. Let me go get the ruler. Oh, never mind. There's one right here. Okay. This is what we're going to use. It's yardstick. So we're basically making a men's bracelet in this blue adventurine. We're going to make it seven inches in length. Um, and we are going to be then giving this away as a gift. We have some beading wire, uh, stretchy jewelry cord, rather. <coughs> some scissors, two packages of beads I got from Michael's. These are 10 inches. That's all it says, 10 inches blue adventurine. 12 inches. So does it say what size the beads are on here? Oh yeah, it does. 8 millimeter? 6 millimeter? Oh my god, I should have got my glasses. Okay, these are 8. No, so these must be 6 then, because they're obviously quite a bit smaller. I don't want to get too close. Get out of focus. There we go. So, eight and six. All right, here we go. We're going to alternate. Uh, we got plastic bags, so then we, when we cut the beads, they're not going to go flying everywhere. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do, put it into the Ziploc bag. Go to the end of the strand, hold it inside the bag, cut between the last bead and the tie-off point. I hope you can see that. This is bad. Sorry guys. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that's where you want to cut. Right there. Okay? Ready? Let's do it. So those are the small ones and we're going to do that for the larger size as well. Because we are going to be alternating those. This is a surprise. This person does not know that they are going to be receiving this gift tomorrow. So that's kind of fun. Some of the bracelets you see that I'm wearing I've designed and beaded myself. Um, some are other people's designs. That, um, oh my god. <laughs> so I also buy and wear other people's designs because I enjoy other people's designs as well. So I'm just going to go like one for one. So one six, one eight. I'm not even going to look at the colors. I'm just going to randomly shove my hand in the bag and whatever bead I touch and pull out, that's the one I'm beating. So it's not like, uh, you know, they're all very similar in color anyways, but, um, I like to do that sometimes even with just random bags of beads, just kind of see what comes out when you just randomly put them on the string. Okay. So that's where we're at so far four beads so we started with a small a six, six and eight six and eight and we're just going to keep going so six this crystal is called the stone of opportunity and that's why I chose this particular stone for this particular individual. Um, I thought that 
it's known to attract luck and wealth and prosperity. So, and the person I'm giving it to needs to, you know, we all could use a little help in the area, but, um, they've been out of work for a while and, uh, so I want to give them that, you know, kind of like spiritual boost. You know, like wear this every day and it will help to increase your wealth. Everything you're working for. So we're just small, big, small, big until we get to our other eight, six, eight, six millimeter. We're alternating back and forth. Leftovers we'll just make another project with. So that's why we corral them all and make sure they don't roll away. So yeah, this is going to be, he's going to like this. And I'll adjust it on the fly. Like if it's too big, I'll cut it and take out a couple of beads and re, um, knot it back together like at his place type thing tomorrow if I have to because I don't know his exact wrist size I'm just kind of winging it here just kind of guessing and winging it and hoping for the best that's gonna fit him Okay, so once I start to feel like I'm, you know, getting close to seven inches, I'll actually at some point hold it up to the ruler and measure it, but that's not yet because we're not there yet. So I'm hoping to have enough beads left over to make myself a little something. Um, let's see. I really like this blue color, these blue hues. I'm a Pisces, so. Um, all the watercolors or colors that represent water, like the blues and greens and aquas and aquamarines. I'm all very drawn to the blue hues. Um, as a Pisces, growing up blue was my favorite color. And, which makes sense because it's the color of my element, right? Took me a few years to connect those dots. Anyway, enough about me. Look at that. Seven inches on the dot. We are going to tie this baby off. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave a little tail that's like an inch. Here you can see it pinched between my fingers. Okay, so then I'm going to pinch, pinch it at an inch. Let those beads let gravity pull those beads down to that lowest point. See, okay, there I'm holding the tail. Then I'm going to wrap it around in a loop and do just a traditional um, knot. I will knot it several times. So I'll hold it in place. Putting tension on with my finger that I'm that in my hand that I'm holding it with, putting tension on the beads, holding them in place so that they can't move around um, before I get the second knot secured. Okay, there we have the second knot secured. Sorry, I went off camera there. I'm zoomed in too close. I need to zoom out. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm going to tie it a few times. Wow. 
one, two, three, and I'm pulling it very tight each time. Four, five, that should be good. Now I'm going to snip as close as I can to the knot without cutting it. I don't want to leave any wonky tails hanging off there. Okay, so now we have this like knotted piece kind of in the middle. What we're going to do is we're going to try to pull the string and like pull it through one of the beads so that we can try to hide it. Hopefully we can pull it through. No, it's too big. It doesn't want to go. Well, maybe. Just kind of play around with it. Fiddle around with it. See if you can get it to pull it pull through the hole to hide itself. If not, don't worry about it. It's you know what? It's so small and it's in between the beads anyways. It's not like the person is even going to feel it. Okay, so there's the test wear. Now I have it on. Do we like it? So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And thank you for watching. I will be having doing more projects and having more upcoming videos. This was just a small one-off project and I thought, you know, I should probably get out the camcorder and show you guys how we roll. See there, you can see the stretchiness to it. So that this cord is designed for jewelry. Like I know some people are kind of weary of it. Like, oh, you know, the beads are going to fly off or whatever, but like I've tied it like literally like five times like unless you're really really like rough on your jewelry this is not going to come apart for a long long time okay so thank you for joining me be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel I'm still trying to grow the channel and thank you so very much for watching and you have a wonderful day